Last week, the state government scrapped the alternative Steiner teaching method that's been running for 10 years at a Footscray primary school. The decision has left students in the lurch and parents fuming, as Anna McDonald reports. It's a typical weekday morning for this family of six in Yarraville. Some last-minute cello practice fills the home as lunches are packed and homework is finished. They're off for another day of school at nearby Footscray City Primary, where they receive a Steiner education. Hey, Jack. For the last 10 years, the school's curriculum has been divided, with about half the students in mainstream classrooms and the others following a Steiner program. The Steiner stream is based on the teachings of 20th century educationist Rudolf Steiner, and it's aimed at giving children a more holistic education. They have the same teacher for the first seven years and the use of computers and other technology is discouraged. Students learn to read and write later than their mainstream counterparts, but there's an emphasis on creative learning. If you think about it from the point of view of when you read a book, if you've watched the film before you've read the book, the characters are already positioned in your mind, whereas if you read the book first, um, then you imagine the characters to be who they are. It appeared to be undermining the confidence... Tim Sharkey is the president of the school council. He's been holding regular crisis meetings since the education department decided to axe the school's Steiner program. The interest of the kids haven't been put first. No. Um, they are traumatised yeah. um, and they are bewildered. We expected there would be a strong reaction from some groups within the school community and we also realistic that there are some groups in the school community very welcoming of the decision. Basically it's been a very um, difficult place and in, in certain um, relationships there's been a lack of respect between members of the school community. Problems at the school first flared in 2006 when the then Labor government sacked the school council because of bitter divisions between Steiner and mainstream parents. One of those involved was Ray Pereira, who eventually took his two sons out of the school. I was told that his soul wasn't fully incarnated yet. And evidence for this was presented in the form of a drawing where they showed uh, his soul hovering over the earth, apparently looking down on the earth. Now, uh, <clears throat> as a parent in a state school, I would expect that decisions made on my child's development be based on fairly rigorous educational principles. But the current school council says those in the West deserve choice and claim past tensions have been put to rest. The council runs very effectively. Um, we like to work together um, over issues. We have an issue with Steiner, we work together on it. If we have an issue with mainstream, we work together with it. And the, the council works very cohesively together. But they acknowledge there has been a high staff turnover with 10 different principals in the last 10 years. Like any organisation, we in the department uh, would see that statistic and it would raise a red flag for us. And we have to ask ourselves why that is the case. And the fact is, there has been disharmony in the school. You can start, make a statement and say you've had 10 principals. I can say yes, I've, in fact we've had six this year. But the reality of that is, is that um, we've had a principal go on stress leave and then subsequent to that principal we've had principals for a day, principals for several days and that's been around emergency relief. Tim Sharkey admits there have been problems at the school but he says they're no longer about the Steiner program. He points to weaknesses in the school's leadership, resulting in bad decision making. He's now angry the education department has decided to not only scrap the Steiner stream, but also appoint a new principal and sack the council. We've, we've put in, we've done the right thing, and we've, and we've been smacked over the wrist and, and told to go away without any reason. The department's come under fire for the way it delivered the news. Most parents found out through a letter that had been placed in their children's school bags with no forewarning. The decisions also called into question the government's promise of diversity and autonomy in the state schools. The first uh, government school to offer the, uh, uh, the IB, the International Baccalaureate uh, Diploma, is in the West. 
Um, yesterday I opened a, um, uh, a select entry academic school um, in Werribee. So uh, there we are offering a range of schools and a range of uh, um, uh, programs uh, to the students in, in the western suburbs. But some are vowing to fight the department's decision so that others don't suffer the same fate. In the meantime, this Yarraville family now faces the prospect of looking for a new school. If I was a, a, a parent or um, uh, an interested person in a school with, with, a, with a Steiner program, with a music program, um, with a sports program, with a language immersion program, I'd be very worried because if they can do it to us, they can do it to anyone. We're certainly not anti-Steiner and uh, we still have six schools that offer the, the Steiner curriculum and they've been working very well and they'll continue to, to do so. Even we professionally trust our schools to drive the change. So uh, if, a, if another school in the uh, area, uh, the Western suburbs for example, uh, uh, feels that they can offer a, a Steiner program and, uh, and, and, and can put the good reasons for that uh, and the resources behind that, we're more than happy to support that if that's their local decision.